Hey guys, it's April here, back with another fragrance review. So today I have Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. I have owned these for um, just a little bit, maybe a few weeks now. And I did do a video short as well um, on the Sweet Tooth, just kind of showing the perfume. But I also wanted to get on now and show the caramel version that she also has. I did get these from Walmart. Pretty inexpensive. The fragrance mists are about $9 and the perfumes are about $30. So starting off with the one that everybody knows and loves. This is just called Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. The packaging is this really light pastel pink color. Um, it is supposed to be like a wrapping for a candy bar. That's kind of what that weird beige thing is right there. It's supposed to be the candy bar wrapping. An immersion in sweet indulgence. Let the sweetness surround you in a mist of candy ginger, chocolate marshmallow, and milky vanilla. Topped with chantilly cream, it's a layered confection that sates your skin as it waits their appetite. Did I say that right? Wets their appetite? Um, anyway, so yeah, as you can see, it's very gourmand. Um, it has the marshmallow, it's supposed to be chocolate. has the, oops, let me clear it up for you. has the milky vanilla and it's topped with Chantilly cream. So, for the mist, yeah, this one is, okay, so right off rip, just being honest, I love it, but it's not as sweet and gourmand as you might expect reading the fragrance notes on the back. Um, I get vanilla and amber, is there any amber in this? I don't know. Maybe it's the ginger. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, I definitely get the ginger in this one, but it is a sweet scent. Um, I don't get too much of that marshmallow. Maybe on the dry down. Yeah, on the dry down, it sweetens up quite nicely. Um, but I do get a lot of the vanilla and the ginger. I don't get too much chocolate, which I know is what she's going for. I just have a lot of other chocolate scents, so maybe I'm just comparing them to those, um, or comparing this one to those, but I don't think this one is as chocolate as some other perfumes and fragrances that I have. Speaking of perfumes and chocolate, this is the packaging for the Eau de Parfum. Um, I think it's adorable. It does say Sweet Tooth on the side by Sabrina Carpenter. And it looks like a pink candy bar. And then when you open it, you have the atomizer here. And it's really, really nice. I love this one. It's got some weight to it. This is just the one fluid ounce. Again, this is 30 bucks. They do have the larger one. I don't know if it's 3.4, but it's a little bit smaller that they have out there that you can find for about 40, 50, maybe it's 60 bucks. I'm not sure, but I know you can definitely find a bigger size out there. Um, but this is Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. Love the packaging and the perfume. I would say it does last. Um, it is a lot better to me in the perfume, obviously, than the fragrance mist. And it does last, so I think it's really, really nice. Next, we have um, Caramel Dream. So Caramel Dream, I don't know why I'm seeing this a lot, that this was just released, which um, is the inspiration for this video, because in case you guys are looking for any information on it, I got this one a couple weeks ago. Um, I didn't think it was new. I just stumbled upon it in Walmart. I was looking for um, some Juicy Couture and I was like, ooh, what is this? This looks interesting, Sweet Tooth. And I grabbed everything. <laughs> um, I do know Sabrina Carpenter is an actress and a singer. I'm not too familiar with her work, but I love this product. Um, it does have the clear liquid on the inside, so no dyes, that's good. This one says, where sweet mist meets dark temptation, a scent that cravings are made of, dark chocolate bean enveloping caramelized amber and musk, 
made more luscious by sassy citrus and smooth talking almond, the perfect mix for playful seduction. <laughs> so this is the, that's the first time I've obviously read that in the back. I think it's really funny, but adorable. I love this brown with the beige color. Again, it's supposed to be like the wrapping is coming off of a candy bar. Um, this one smells really good. Let's see. So I have both on me now. The first one has sweetened up. It is creamy, but it's really light, um, very light. This one is a little more, oh, I'm sorry, I'm smelling it. I smell more chocolate in this one. To me, this one smells more chocolatey, a little bit deeper, darker, richer. It's kind of more unisex to me. But I definitely smell the chocolate in this one more. Um, this one has the um, amber in it. So this one does have caramelized amber in it. Yeah, I can smell it. This is a really nice scent. Um, these aren't as gourmand as you guys might be thinking, in my opinion. Not at all. Sweet Tooth, Chocolate Bar. Um, I think it could be a little bit misleading because that's not all that you smell um, in these. For the packaging... Um, this is the same packaging, except for it's a different color for the Caramel Dream. It says Sabrina Carpenter Sweet Tooth on the side. And it's the darker color, the brown color for the Caramel. And it looks the exact same. I like the way these spray as well. These are nice sprayers. Yeah, it smells really good. I'm going to put this on. Oh, yeah. I get the caramel more in the Eau de Parfum um, than I do the Fragrance Mist. I think this is a little bit sweeter than the Fragrance Mist. Yeah, but it's nice. I definitely do get more of the, the chocolate. Um, so yeah, I really like this one, guys. Definitely swing by and pick it up if you haven't. If you have these, let me know what you think of them. Which one's your favorite? Do you like the original Sweet Tooth or the Caramel Dream? And as always, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. And those of you that are returning, thank you so much for supporting me as I build my channel. And see you next time.